we go. Hi everyone, it's yours cruelly, Elvivra. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? It's just me, in case you didn't notice. Vivian Frost, your bestie who's a bestie, paying tribute to the mistress of the dark. Happy 40th, hon. As I talk about what I think, what I think are the top 10 Vestite best slash favorite pieces of Elvira merchandise because she is everywhere. If you can put a logo on it, Elvira's been on it or in it or all over it. I mean, just can't keep her off this anything. But anyway, and that's a good thing. That's an absolute good thing. She's a fucking icon. And I hope I'm not insulting her by donning the wig, which, forgive me, it just fucking came in minutes before. I, like, I was every, ready to go, waiting for Amazon to drop off the wig. So I didn't, like, get to kind of fix it. But it's totally functional for pre goth Elvira at work, trying to figure out what she's going to do instead of just being, like, you know, a secretary or something. Or, you know, a college professor, and she's just like, you know what, fuck this. I only work for a cheesy TV show and be myself and talk about horror movies. So that's this version of the big V, E V, E L, e -L V, the big L, E L. It's not racist. I don't think it is. I don't know. I'm just being stupid because I'm really fucking drunk. Anyway, so what are Vivian's top 10 favorite pieces of Elvira merch? First off, if you had Shudder, I hope you watched your 40th special couple weeks ago it was fucking great but we got Joe Bob this weekend so all is right with the world but anyway just a shout out to that and to, you know this is her 40th anniversary uh, and speaking of anniversaries I got this on her 35th anniversary and I like I, I literally used it tonight so I've had it for so long I don't use it all the time I kind of you know I just go slow with the colors but you know also, obviously I've saved it for when I want to do an actual viral look which this is a first for me so I don't think I totally shit the bed, but I'm sure your comments will let me know how bad it is. <laughs> what am I talking about? What fucking comments? Anyway, this makeup palette, when I saw it, I was just like, I just have to have this. Just look how fucking cool it is. I mean, I'm not like an expert on makeup palettes. Uh, ha. But this is like such Elvira, like screams it. It's fucking cool. It's a cool collectible. It was limited edition, so I'm pretty sure they don't make it anymore, so I'm not sure what it's worth if you saw it sealed, but I think it is fucking amazing. Just like the salt and pepper shaker. Because Elvira has taught me two very important things. Women are strong and capable of doing anything. And you can go far in Hollywood if you have a great sense of humor. And a nice set of legs. Uh, but anyway, the salt and pepper shaker is fucking hilarious. Salt, pepper, pick one. Just remember the dots. The cute little beauty marks. Ding, ding. On the uh, memory, so you know which one's which. Next. Now this one... I had the first one, where it's just her, like, you know, classic Elvira pose like this. You know, literally, big-ass head, just like me on these pops. Um, but this one was, like, a Hot Topic exclusive or some bullshit. Um, but then, like, a friend of mine was like, hey, like, I see these on the discount section at Hot Topic. It's like, I don't collect these fucking things. I'm sorry. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Some of them are cute. It's cool to have a couple on your desk. Fine. But the obsessiveness of this shit, I just don't get it. I'm not shitting on you. I just don't fucking get it. Anyway, I got this one at Hot Topic on sale for half off because I wasn't going to pay 30 bucks for this one when I already had the nice standing classic Elvira. But anyway, this is her on the classic couch, classic pose. Saw it when I heard it was 15, you know, they were on sale nationwide or whatever at fucking Hot Topic. I was like, gotta fucking get it when I fucking got it. So, super fucking cool and super, just a great piece. Now this is one I don't have because I just wear cheap costume jewelry. This is a nice little piece off Etsy that I need to get for Christmas if someone special is watching this or listening upstairs. Um, but the Elvira ring, gorgeous. It's not, it's not terribly expensive but it's fucking cool because it's like, you know, a licensed and all sorts of cool stuff. So definitely a cool piece of merch. I, honestly, I really fucking hate that word. You know, Most people hate moist. I hate merch. Like, yeah, you got your merch table, bro. Uh, you can't be in a band if you don't have your merch table. I don't fucking know. Anyway, I should have like just said Elvira stuff, because uh, I really fucking hate the word merch. Now this little puppy, I use every fucking day. Look at that, it's almost like life size. No, it's it's not quite life size. But anyway, the mouse, this mouse pad, like like seriously, like I've had, I've had like the mouse wrist support ones for you know on and off. Sometimes I just get the little flat ones because like scientists say, oh, you don't need this shit. And all of a sudden they say that you do. This one is super fucking comfortable. And honestly, I think it's the design. 
obviously, which fits perfectly for the Elvira brand. And it's a really great mouse pad, and I've had it for like years, and it's, like the fabric still holds up. It doesn't look like dirty from the mouse or anything on it. So it's actually a really fucking good mouse pad. So I highly recommend that one. Uh, it's really fucking cool. You can get it on Amazon. It's available. And this masterpiece. Now, like, there's been Elvira maquettes and statues and all sorts of shit, but this is like NECA, N-E-C-A, is doing a fucking Elvira figure. It was like their first 31 days of Halloween announcement, I think. First or second. But, fuck yes. Finally, we get Elvira from NECA. Real cloth dress, which usually on figures, I hate when they do the real cloth Amigo looking shit, unless it's like, like super form-fitting, like moi. Um, but anyway... I can't wait to fucking get this and put this, you know, I'm going to have Freddie, Michael, and Jason from NECA right here, and I'm going to have, you know, the growing Universal Monsters collection from NECA next to it, and Elvira right in the fucking middle where she belongs. Anyway, super, this one's not out yet, but you can pre-order it, like, wherever you pre-order toys and shit, uh, that kind of stuff. I'm sure Amazon might have it up somewhere, but it's fucking great. And speaking of fucking great, is the woman who created Elvira, Cassandra Peterson, who just recently, um, you know, released her book with a whole bunch of revel revelations and stuff. I mean, come on, everybody knew. Uh, if you were an Avira fan, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, she has her new book. I'm not recommending the book. I'm recommending the audio book because she reads it. So you get to listen to her tell you her life story, which is way cooler than me making up the voice that's in my head. So if you're looking for the book, get the audio book. You know, do your free month of Audible and get it for free you know, if you're a cheap-ass bastard. But you should definitely give her some money because she has fucking earned it. And this is honestly one of my favorite things I have uh, of our... And I'm not like... A, I don't like... I don't, if I see something with Elvira on it, I don't I just go fucking buy it. These are just... You know, I don't have everything on here, like I said, but these are what I think are the 10 coolest. Now, if you're an Elvira fan, these are like the most readily available, coolest things you can get, you know, without, you know, becoming an obsessive, compulsive collector, I guess. I don't fucking know. I don't even know what I'm trying to fucking say. Anyway, but this coffee table book, this was like, not her, I mean, her first pictorial book, but it's hardcover, it's super fucking nice. Look at that fucking cover. Uh, but the picture, like some of the, all the classic pictures, beautifully done, an excellently, excellently done book. I think it's like 70, 80 bucks. I think on her website, you should be able to get it like signed for like 100 and something, which is a steal uh, if you don't have her signature. More on that in just a second. But uh, go to elvira.com, you can still, you can get a lot of the stuff on here, it's a plethora of shirts and hats and all that kind of shit. Fright rags, free plug, guys and girls. Uh, on there, bring your podcast back. Fright rags, I loved it. Anyway, this book, fucking great. Get it, fucking read it. Keep it on your coffee table. Protect it, buy two copies. Uh, number two, her movie. Her first movie, at least. And her second one just came out on Blu-ray today, Haunted Hills. Um, but it, you should absolutely have the film, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, on some form of high-definition device. Now, we were waiting for it forever, for fucking ever. And then, like, there was this German release that got canceled, and, like, they had to refund me and a whole bunch of friends that had, like, pre-ordered it on Blu-ray. And then, finally, they just released, I think, like, a Bare Bones edition. But then Arrow got a hold of it, and I think this is, like, a, like a cool documentary and some other stuff on it. I don't have this version. I got the... As soon as it came out on Blu-ray, I got it. And I... You know, I'm not the one to get, like, every version of a movie on, like, oh, this got... This got this. It's got to have like super something like great. And I think the documentary, doc, documentary, documentary, slow down, bitch. Uh, the documentary that was on one of the special releases was like on YouTube for free. And I just watched it there. Sorry, Cassandra. But anyway, that was my number two. And what I think, did it just restart? God damn it. But I can do that. Boom. Back straight up to number one. Anyway, I think if you're an Elvira fan, you should do this right now today, but you can go to her site and you can get an 8x10 autographed. I have this exact picture. That's not the signature. That's a little photography, trickery, photoshoppery, uh, in case you couldn't tell. Anyway, I have this exact picture. Met her at a Comic-Con in New Orleans. She was so fucking friendly. Just a beautiful person. Let me take a free... I say my wife took a, was able to take a free picture of us. She didn't charge us for that. She was just so nice, so chill. It was like... And that, she was like actually the first celebrity at a con. Like I went to the con for her. Robert England was there too, so it was like a, it was a double like twofer. Um, but it was I was most excited to meet her, and she was the first celebrity I ever met. No, I take it back. Norman Reedus, the year before that. This was the second year. Yeah, so she was like the second celebrity like I paid money to like meet. And Norman Reedus was for Boondock Saints. She was all pop popular for Walking Dead. But was like, dude, I'm gonna do like 
Boondock Saints. And I know that's very bro-y and like white person bro to say, but when that movie came out, it really was a fucking cool big deal. So, just saying. Boondock Saints, great fucking movie. Will and the Foe is fucking great in it. Anyway. Yeah, she's like the second celebrity I met. Still the best celebrity I've ever met. Robert England talked to us like twice as long. But Elvira just like, it was just, she just radiated kindness. And it was also like a childhood dream. It was a childhood dream to meet Freddie too. But Freddie, not the actor, if you get what I'm saying. Um, but meeting Elvira was like one of the greatest fucking moments of my life. Seriously. Because, you know, it's, there's that saying, never meet your heroes. Meet her, because she's a fucking angel. I swear it. Uh, anyway, you know, like, get, her auto, get her autograph. You know, get, you know, because that's something, this is a limited time thing. You know, you can only get autographs for so long. She might take them off her side. A lot of people don't do it. She's super busy now because of the 40th anniversary of Elvira. So this is something you need to get, you know, while you can. Because it's going to be something you're going to regret a long, 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 long time from now, if you get what I'm saying, you know, because uh, no matter, Elvira's never going to die. We all know that. I mean, iconic forever. Anyway, I kind of got like on a little morbid track there. I totally didn't mean to. I'm just fucking drunk and high, but you know what? The show's over, so fuck it. Anyway, by now, you should subscribe right here with the little circle. And then up here is a video that YouTube thinks you should fucking watch. I'm going to end it like right now because I always over talk and those bubbles never appear when I'm actually doing it. So anyway, all right, everybody, stay spooky and most importantly, stay fucking frosty. Unpleasant dreams.